Hello everybody, my name is Anuren. I hope that you are all doing well by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. I would like to take uh, this opportunity to share the word of God with you all, if you don't mind. And uh, the Bible encourages all believers to meditate upon the word of God and as well to be people that are looking forward for the coming up of Jesus Christ. And uh, before to share the word of God with all of you, I would like to take this opportunity to ask uh, a simple question. And this question is to help us to assess uh, our inner motivation, to help us as well to understand why we are connected to Jesus Christ. And the question is, what are we looking for? What are we looking for in terms of becoming Christians? in terms of being recognized as daughters and sons of God. And the Bible talked to us about people that were following Jesus Christ. And those people were following Jesus Christ for different reasons. Those people were after Jesus Christ because they have their own motivations. And uh, the Bible talked to us about the crowd. The crowd was uh, a people that whatever Jesus Christ was, those people were looking for him. And uh, those people were able to understand that Jesus Christ was a powerful man. He was a man that was able to perform signs and wonders. Therefore, those people knew that through the ministry of Jesus Christ, they could be able to receive deliverance, healings, they could be as well able to receive the things that previously they were not able to receive. And the Bible tell us about how powerful Jesus Christ was during this time. The Bible talked to us about the time when Jesus Christ was able to transform water into wine during a wedding. And uh, Jesus Christ as well was able to heal an official son and Jesus Christ even was able to raise the son of a widow and all this display of power and might have helped people to understand that Jesus Christ was uh, a key solution Jesus Christ was a person that will be able to allow them to receive everything that they needed. Therefore, those people, the crowd, were searching for Jesus Christ for their own motivation. They were searching for Jesus Christ for their deliverance, for their healing, for things that uh, unfortunately they couldn't have. And as well, the Bible talked to us about a different type of people that were looking for Jesus Christ. And those people were looking for Jesus Christ for some other reasons. The Bible talked to us about Judas. Judas that was uh, one of Jesus Christ's disciples. Judas that was exposed to the word of God. He was a person that had the opportunity to work along Jesus Christ. He was uh, a person that had the opportunity as well to receive uh, the living word of God. And uh, unfortunately, the Bible tells us that Judas was the person that betrayed Jesus Christ. He was the person that sold out Jesus Christ because uh, he wanted to make money out of Jesus Christ. And therefore, we can see through the story of Judas that some people were looking for Jesus Christ, not because they needed to have deliverance, not because they were after healing, but this type of people were looking for Jesus Christ, was after the ministry of Jesus Christ because they wanted to make money out of Jesus Christ. And as well, the Bible talked to us about uh, some other type of people that were searching for Jesus Christ. But those type of people, they were not searching for Jesus Christ because uh, they understood that Jesus Christ was powerful, that Jesus Christ was able to transform their life, or Jesus Christ was able as well to serve their purpose. 
Well, the Bible tells us that uh, the Pharisees was uh, some type of people that were against the ministry of Jesus Christ. There was a people that was uh, objecting to the preaching of Jesus Christ uh, and they were looking for ways to destroy the life of Jesus Christ. Uh, and they were the one that sent soldiers after Jesus Christ. Uh, and those people did not know who Jesus Christ looked like. Uh, therefore, they asked who Jesus Christ was to Judas. And uh, the Bible tells us that Jesus asked them who they were looking for. It means that Jesus Christ has the ability as well to understand what we are searching for and is based upon uh, our um, inner motivation that uh, Jesus Christ as well display himself. Uh, and uh, the soldiers were looking to destroy Jesus Christ. Uh, they were not after eternal life. Uh, they were not after a transformation, but they were the people that wanted to take uh, away the life of Jesus Christ. Uh, and uh, the Bible as well talked to us uh, about some other type of people that were looking for Jesus Christ. Uh, and this type of people that were looking for Jesus Christ were not the people that were sick, were not the people that needed deliverance or the people that were after money or the people that were even trying to destroy the life of Jesus Christ. But the Bible talked to us about some type of people that were looking for Jesus Christ because they were amazed about the work of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ were looking like uh, some kind of celebrity for them. Therefore, they wanted to know everything about Jesus Christ. Uh, they were captivated by the things that Jesus Christ was able to do because these were things that nobody previously was able to do. And those people miss out the true reason why Jesus Christ was manifested. Those people were not able to concentrate on the things that were important. Those people were not able to understand the, the message of Jesus Christ because they were focused on the status of Jesus Christ. They were focused on the image of Jesus Christ. And beloved, there was uh, as well another type uh, of people that were searching for Jesus Christ, that were looking for Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ said, uh, one People were having different views about uh, his himself. He asked his disciple that people, this is uh, the ideas that people have about me. But what do you think I am? Who do you think I am? And uh, the Bible tells us that it was uh, Peter that was able to recognize that Jesus Christ was the Son of God. And he was as well the person that was able to recognize that Jesus Christ was the person that uh, was having the living word, uh, the word of eternal life. Therefore, this type of people were searching for Jesus Christ, not based on the things that they can receive uh, uh, in um, in their flesh, the things that uh, Jesus Christ could be able to give them. These type of people were not looking for wonders. They were not looking for miracles. They were not looking for deliverance. They were not looking for money. They were not looking for celebrity. But these type of people were those people that understood that they were sinners. Therefore, they needed to have uh, a deliverer. They needed to have somebody that will be able to take away their sins. They understood that, that they needed a transformation, a change in their life. They needed repentance so that they can receive eternal life. And this type of people were the people that understood the true reason of the manifestation of Jesus Christ. And they understood as well the thought of God regarding the gospel. And uh, beloved, this... Uh, word is to help us to focus on the true reason why we should be all searching for Jesus Christ. For us to know to miss out the reason why Jesus Christ was manifested in the first place, which is about uh, bringing everybody to repentance, to allow all of us to understand, to acknowledge our sins and to seek for repentance, for us as well to be able to seize 
the eternal life that uh, Jesus Christ uh, have given to all of us uh, through his sacrifice uh, and for us to maintain that eternal life. Uh, and beloved, this, is, this was uh, the word that I wanted to share with all of you. I hope that this word have blessed you. I hope that this word have helped you to understand uh, the reason why you should be connected with Jesus Christ. Uh, and I wish you all a wonderful day. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.